Okay, so we left off with uh, cations, and again, you have a positive charge. Remember, I was telling you that um, resonance, the goal of resonance is to, number one, uh, the top goal is to stabilize this particular molecule. And in this case, we want to stabilize this plus charge by spreading it out over all three of these atoms. And again, let's reiterate, the three atoms that are in resonance are adjacent to one another with my donor being on adjacent to my acceptor uh, rem if you remember with cat with anions we had to push two pairs of electrons here's a little bit of a difference with anion with cat ions shown here where I have a plus charge I'm only moving one pair of electrons and I know it seems weird because you it's like you're skipping over this atom but what you're doing is actually shifting uh, the pi bond from one part of the molecule to the other. All right. Okay, so now let's look at uh, an example of an of a cation that's shown here. Again, you see your three atom unit here, plus charge on this carbon, pi bond between these two carbons. And if I'm want to draw the resonance form for that, I need an arrow showing the pi bond here moving between these two atoms. And when I do that, let's just explain this a little bit. So here's the pi bond moving. This carbon has four bonds to it. When I break that pi bond, now I only have three, making this carbon positively charged and then moving the pi bond here and satisfying the valence of this carbon. All right, again, you add stability because that plus charge is now shared over two atoms and not just localized on one atom. Remember the term delocalization. And the more resonance forms you can draw, the more stable the molecule is going to be. All right. So what does this even mean? Let's make it make some sense in a practical sense. So atoms don't like to hold on to charge. They don't like to hold on to electrons. If, they're a, if, if that's the case, then the stability is decreased. All right. So if that atom, all right, here's my atom here. His, you see his face, he's very sad because he's holding on to this heavy load, be it a plus charge or a pair of electrons and the minus charge. If that can be shared, right, now I have multiple atoms and I can take that load and take it off of one atom and put it onto the other atom. Now everybody's happy. And when the atoms or a molecule, when that molecule is happy, the energy goes down and when that energy goes down that's great because uh, the system becomes more stable let's look at it again so uh, here, here's my charge positive or negative doesn't matter and I'm able to share that charge with this other atom here right and notice everybody's smiling now our first guy was really sad because he's toting this load but now in this case these atoms notice they are adjacent to one another and because they're adjacent to one another, uh, I'm able to uh, share that load across those atoms. And then if that load is a plus charge or a minus charge, it doesn't matter. The term is delocalization. That charge is not localized in one place. It's spread over multiple atoms. All right. So these are some of the documents that you might want to get from Blackboard. Uh, if you go into course documents and supplemental handouts, uh, there's a document uh, handout for skeletal and line structures. There's also a handout for resonance rules and a resonance problem set that I definitely want you to print and start working on. And you can bring this to class on Wednesday and we'll work resonance. We'll just beat resonance to death until we're done with it and until you understand it. Uh, and then the formal charges overview is also on Blackboard. So that concludes this little mini lecture on resonance. And hopefully you got something out of it. And again, you can watch this as many times as you want. You can rewind. You can fast forward. It doesn't matter. That's why I'm doing it this way. So you can work at your own pace and control the pace of your own learning. So until next time, peace.